My first line of defense is me. Five times, nigga. I was gonna have them fly you to Canada. You had to go, go through the customs twice, nigga. Just to get here to do an interview. Because I couldn't understand what type of bum-ass rapper can't afford to pay his money to go do a interview that's supposed to promote you. If you did a interview with me, you bum-ass nigga, you wouldn't be doing these pathetic-ass numbers. Look at this fucking pathetic ass numbers you doing, nigga. How much you pay for this goddamn video? Lambo rented. What else is in here rented? Just showing off all this guy. Academics is funny as hell. For real. That's right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so my next question is, man, look, y'all didn't get the motherfucking time for the crime. What the fuck really went down? What really went down? I mean, this shit is already said and done. Water on the bridge. Y'all niggas have been to court. I don't know. Did y'all go to trial? Did he cop out, take a deal? Cop out. Cop out. Yeah, it, was, it, was more, it was more charges than it that we were facing. Gotcha. Okay. So what exactly did he tell on, bro? Like, like, when he crack his mother insinuates... Somebody sent the police to her house. To her house? Yeah. She sent the police to everybody's house. So for that two times, sent the police to everybody's house. Right. That's how you know with the warrant. So they got on him first. How, how did they pick up on him first? I think some uh, somebody told him he was going into the school with the police to go point out everybody that's supposed to be in their school, right? Uh -huh. So the one that my cousin told on called me on the phone like man they gave little Richard right. Oh okay. no, you like man he turned around pointing. I told break that phone man. You know what I'm saying uh, they don't call me on the internet. Don't even know get called. So he told me to stay. Okay, so from there you it was on. You on the run? Yeah. My uh -huh. run. Now the paperwork that we saw the glimpse. There was some paperwork with them asking him, was he part of a crime, right? He admitted to it. They asked him, did anybody else, was they involved in a motherfucking crime? He said yes, and then he gave up three names. One of those names was yours, correct? Correct. Who was the other two names? Those are uh, my cousin, Digi Monty, and some of the other red. Also, another nigga told Wood for this. Yeah. Two times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like how you feel. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So now listen, man, to the people. When it comes to these streets, I don't give a fuck. Memphis, California, New York. If you in the good old US of A and you part of these streets, anytime you mention another man's name, right, in the commission of a crime, at least any type of prosecution. Uh, uh, arrest, arrest, warrants, right? You the rat. Now, finesse claims, man, I did paperwork parties, man. I walked off my time, man. I, 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 I don't know what they're talking about. What you walking on here, Jill? No, this is my thing, bro. And he, he keeps referring to a federal case. This was not a federal case, was it? It's your case you're trying to hide. This is not a federal case. Okay. Okay. State case. okay, so this, the case that Finesse ran it on, the one you got documentation on, is a state case. The case him and his mother keeps speaking on is a federal case. So they try to do the spin, the Jedi mind tricks, to throw everybody off, right? That's what I'm hearing. Yo, Chisel, you there? You have to unmute your mic. It's mic went off. Okay, so what they doing is trying to deflect and talk about one case that has nothing to do with the other. Yeah, nothing to do with that. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with no vehicle. case. It's a state case. Straight state, state, state case. Trying to hide. Okay, so how much time did Finesse do on this on this case? My, I think like a couple years, he was out. He switched the name. He did his thing, stole my name, and... Uh, Wait up, slow down. What you mean, switch names and stole your name? Well, his name was Debo. His name was Debo. 
right. I do that. My name was Finesse King because I was finessing that. Wait, wait, wait. So Finesse two times original name was Debo. And your, your original name was Finesse King. Right. So the nigga not only told on you, but then he hijacked your motherfucking name. Right. That's weird. Yeah, right stole now, his right. name in his street. Oh, man, that's cold. Y'all seen how, uh, how they did the real Rick Ross and uh, TV folks? Oh, so you telling me you was that nigga over there? Right. Got you. Yo, now, yo, this is exclusive. You on the 100 EMT side, 100 EMT south. Finesse two times exclusive. It's Cody Speak. We got Big Jizzle in here. This is the uh, gentleman whose paperwork, a uh, partial paperwork, 1090J claims to have or that he does have. Now, my question to you, Big Jizzle, the paperwork 1090 has, he said somebody sent this to him. Are you the person that sent it? No, I ain't sent it to him. So how in the fuck did he get that, my brother? Well, I got it on my page. You know how people be loading the search. Oh, so this is something you put up on your page? Yeah. So 1090 capping, you ain't sending shit. He got it off your page. This you know you my... I'm listening. Yeah, I ain't seen shit. Oh, so this is why he still also, he still got to figure it out. Uh, people want to know, yo, what? How in the fuck did you get on the big jizzle? I'm going to tell you. I told, you the, I told the spies, reach out, see if we can find anybody. Found his IG. I DM'd him, sent me my number. He texted me for the last day and a half or so. We've been talking. Here we are now. So I don't do the uh, porky pig 1090. Act like I'm talking to somebody, really not. This is him live in the press. Live in the press. Jizzle, aka the real finesse king, aka the code D to the motherfucker that finesse two time told him. And don't forget it, a.k.a. Big John. A.k.a. Big John. Can you tell us a little bit about but, uh, little, little Debo, a.k.a. Finesse Two Times, back then? Like, he had to be something about him. The reason why y'all fuck with him, was it the street of his daddy rep? Um, what was it about Finesse that made y'all, or Lil Debo, a.k.a. that made y'all fuck with him back then? Well, he wanted to come get some money, you know, woo the woo. You know, we were rapping, but, you know, we just freestyled out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like then, my cousin, through my cousin, we told, I don't know, we go over the house, she with her mom, who the who. Gotcha. Just so, like have y'all crossed paths since any of y'all been home? I said, your mom. Uh, how did that turn out? Well, she, you know, I, you know, I like somebody else here, though. Oh. So, she didn't have that energy she had when she was no eyes. No, it wasn't none of that. It was do the crack of the one. That's a ass. Yo, whack. You hear academics explain that nigga? <laughs> what happened? What that do? That man, academics crazy. <laughs> Dude, I was just telling that nigga about a week ago. That bitch gonna cross him again. What he? What he? I said. Yeah, he was in his feelings about the bitch. I said, man, that bitch gonna cross you any minute. Man, nah, that nigga flame enough for that two times, man. He done heard that diss track. <laughs> oh, he on it. He on it. He hot. He hot. <laughs> he said he gonna drop ten thousand on the on the uh, big John to come up there, nigga. <laughs> oh, he gonna come get him. Hey, dude, that's all he been trying to get. See, I don't pay niggas for content. Right. So, did I see you the last time me and dude text? I, I, no? I, I don't think so. Hold on. Why? Hey, you what? How, how you feel about him putting your name God. in the song? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Free promotion. <laughs> I trolled it. I already trolled it and promoted it. I, I figured that. Two, three days yeah, ago. Yeah, put a hundred on whack. Yeah, I don't give, he but told what you, on, but what what's you crazy, he told on Jay Prince now. Who did, Finesse right. did? Yeah, the about. nigga said, I, 
I put a hundred on white, and he said something about that's oh, mob man. child. Oh, word. Yeah, yes, yes. I ain't listen deep, but. Yeah, oh, you ain't yeah, supposed to crazy. say no shit like that, dummy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stupid as a mother. Hey, I'm the only I turned around and use it and trolled Adam and said, nigga, you wasn't big enough to make the diss song and put the shit up on Instagram. <laughs> put a crossed out Adam and put the scene on him. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that nigga, he, he mad. That's what he mad about, though. He just listened to that paperwork and shit. You know what I'm saying? But he, all he did was wake him back up, nigga. It ain't gonna go away. Has he, has, has he got a hold of the dudes? Uh, nah, academic just dropped this, uh, like, shit, not even too long ago. Uh, it ain't been long What's your full song, man? So I don't think yeah. he got a hope to him yet. I'm gonna send a nigga the nigga number right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, shit, like, why would uh, it? Eight hours. So, I doubt it. He's not there right now. You know, that nigga on that live, he was going to sell some shit. But that nigga definitely, he was like, you couldn't even, uh, pay for your plane tickets. You was the first rapper I was going to interview, and the manager said you couldn't afford the plane ticket. <laughs> Look, see what I just sent you? Well, I, don't, I don't pay no nigga for no work, but he came around the mountain, he was supposed to sit you see how I exposed that big sad nigga? I let that nigga sit there three weeks thinking about it. Man. I've been fucking with him. I just let the whole video go about an hour ago. <laughs> oh, okay, well, listen. I did a still frame of the video. I put the work up. Then he go on the thing saying, it was a lady and the baby killed. Yeah, I seen everything. Now all of a sudden, you want to be a gangbanger with some sympathy for telling. Nah, nigga. You said you ain't told on nobody. You said whack ain't had no work. I went and got the work and your interrogation video. Nigga, you telling on everything. Even what time your sister make her coffee. <laughs> Last because the lady and the baby was killed. That's crazy. Well, you know, it was a pregnant lady. She gangbanging. You know how that go. Right, right. No, she didn't. She didn't lined up. She didn't lined up a gang of motherfuckers, baby. You know, she. Right, so you banging, fact. you banging. That's just what they come with that. That's a fact. I mean, it don't change. It don't change the bit no rules. Nigga. It's Hell no, that, yeah, that, he trying to make it like this is what no, nigga. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, that ain't. That's bad work, right? Yeah. 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 I already figured out, um, T Money. They say, man, why that nigga whack expose this nigga? They'd be mad at me for exposing the rat, and they ain't even mad at the rat. For what he did. Yeah. They ain't got nothing to say about it. Streets yeah. is a myth. Man, that shit crazy. This shit different. I swear. Streets is a myth. Like a motherfucker. He ain't lying. That's the first thing they ain't gonna say. Why he saying this stuff now? Why this? Why that? He questioning everything but the Hey, people. I heard the nigga Rockstar saying the video clip right now. Yeah, that clip Wack put up with Nipsey Baby Mama, that ain't Nipsey Baby Mama talking, that's fake. I know her. But then you got Big Luke, Big U over there with UOD saying, the first I heard from Nipsey Baby Mama is when she called me the other day crying about they recorded her. <laughs> All these niggas is weird, bro. They don't know which lot to keep up. Hell no, they don't. They be telling on themselves and don't even realize shit. I got one nigga on there talking about he walked in my dressing room and checked me in Game's dressing room about 40 o'clock <laughs> at my motherfucking concert. That's nigga, I be 200 deep at them. 
Them niggas will kill you. I ain't got to say nothing. That <laughs> nigga said he walked hey, in my dressing room. Still hiding in bushes, bro. He said that nigga walked in my dressing room in front of game and told us, hey, homie, 40 Glock, my homeboy. Nigga, we had a mop show motherfucker. We they had found your motherfucking ass over there under the couch somewhere. Man. And he talking about, this nigga talking about 2012, 13, when niggas was still ignorant. Right. Niggas is 200 right. deep after shit. Niggas was on some ignorant shit back then. Right after 40 glass got mopped up. <laughs> Man, this nigga, I hear this nigga in Rockstar Room talking about, yeah, I built a whack game dressing room. And told them niggas, 40 Glock, my homeboy, nigga. What's up with you niggas? Boy, we would have beat you to death. Literally. Man. We were so fucked up back then. Niggas was on some bullshit back then. Niggas used to go looking for the problem. Right. <laughs> and you just going to bell up in the, in the headliner's dressing room. And we stayed 50 deep backstage. Minimum. And just, you just go check us. This, and we just let you get away with it. Fuck out of here. Straight cap. They just be saying some wow. Rockstar even wasn't believing that shit. I can tell you, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Them haters, niggas, that be wanting to repeat and, and carry it on, bro. That shit be crazy. Hey, bro, hey, listen, let me tell you something. The fact that what only thing they standing on is they got to make up a story is great. Because all I say Man. is, where the paperwork? Where the, yo, you got to have some work. Whatever. I, 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 they said, whack. We didn't know you sold dope. I said, I ain't never sold drugs in my life. I'm, and if I did, I definitely wouldn't have been a low-level nigga. That's a fact. Right. They got I'd a couple been, of followers that don't give a fuck if they got proof or not. They still no, listen they to that give, bullshit. No, they don't give a fuck because, first of all, majority of them is niggas that wanted to fuck with me and I wouldn't. Then you got motherfuckers that's from the street that feel like they should have a voice, but they don't. Then you got some civilian motherfuckers who don't understand what's going on anyway. See, anyway. reason why my paperwork could never be questioned because it got your name, it got your AKA, it got who you are, what gang you from, it got everything on you. Just there it go. It ain't even look, nigga. Argue with the work. Big Sad cannot argue with me no more. That is your work. <laughs> That is you in the interrogation video. That is you. Argue with that nigga. There's nothing for me to argue with you about. If I ain't got it A to Z, I ain't fucking with it. Right. Just that simple. Yeah, they just keep bringing up that Texas case. I'm like, bro, we didn't talk about My that. My nigga, so the tech, bro. My Texas case is up. I, I tell everybody about my cases. All you got to do is go pull it. Don't get mad at me, nigga. Don't get mad at me. I had the 60 to bail out and the 380 to pay the attorneys. What you mad at me for, nigga? I, I, I keep telling niggas I've been rich a long time. They keep saying, like, where the other paperwork, bro? I mean, what other? Go pull it up. Cash, McElroy Jones, Wheeler County, Texas. April 15th, 2005 arrest. Go pull it up. A bunch of niggas didn't pull it up. Definitely. They definitely pulled it up. And if it was Whack don't get no... I don't even give a nigga... I plead the fifth. You ain't gonna get no nigga talking to them white people, man. Talk to that man. attorney, man. I'm not doing no talking to you, nigga. I'm gonna sit in this cell... Do some push-ups and sit-ups and make these collect phone calls until you give me a bail. Then I'm out of here. 
man. Frank, though. Shit. Why the other niggas trying to talk their way in? How's they still writing? That shit's crazy. Hey, take it, T-Money. They only know about my Texas case because I tell y'all. That's it. Ain't no nigga came in here talking about what nigga I told you about the case. Here go the case number. The dismissal paperwork is on the internet, on my IG. Here go the case number. Pull it. And go look at it. Read it. Make a motherfucking movie out the motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, cause ain't nobody mentioned. You did bring it up. They came with you. It, it's nothing anybody would have known about. At all. I, got I fuck with Texas because they got that audio on that video in front of them squad cars. That's what saved me. Keep hey, it well, real. I, that's what saved me. Without that, it'd have been my word against theirs. Hey, right. what? Is it true that uh, you got raided for guns, bro? That shit was I on the fucking on YouTube. That dude was saying you got raided for guns. You had like a fucking. Did he show you some paperwork showing you nah, I got bro, raided for guns? I, I didn't believe him, bro. Did he show you paperwork showing you I got raided for guns? Nah. Exactly. They ain't go. They can't show you none of that shit. Nigga, they found my wife's gun in her house. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the they found. They found, they found one gun. Yeah. They got. They found a forty-four bulldog revolver that was registered to my wife. So they whole thing is, when you an ex-con, you can't be around guns. I said, well, who the fuck said I was around guns? They like we found it in the house. I said, I don't give a fuck about you finding. What that got to do with me? Did y'all do your homework? I've been a resident of Oklahoma since two thousand three. Taxes and everything. You want to see my ID? Nigga, I got eight houses in that same city. Which one you going to put me in? The, the dude tried to say that he come to your house or one of your houses and you had like a, a, like a fuckload of guns there. And then you, okay, let me ask you a question. Where do you see that descriptive in the paperwork? No, that was just on the YouTube video. I was just I'm going to ask you another question. Where do you see that it was eight guns found in any house of mine? Ever? Yeah, I haven't, bro. Um, That's my point. You'll never see that. It never happened. They found one gun in a home my wife and kids live in. I haven't been a California resident, nigga, since 2003. 21 years. Got about eight, nine houses in Cali. Ain't nothing in them houses belong to me. Especially her one registered gun. You'll right. never see no paperwork that say eight guns was found in any house associated to me, ever. Them boys try to make it like you. Oh, no, no. You know, house. Tell them niggas, hey, look. Tell them niggas. Tell them niggas you got a hundred thousand if they can provide that. I front the money, we cut we cut the profit up in half. They came. I'm beating these niggas ass so bad with this shit, nigga gotta say something. I'm not saying nothing a nigga can't read. That's a fact. That's maybe the problem. they, they can read. Maybe they mix in Cali. With Texas. Now, Texas, yeah. they found some shit in the trunk. Man. Definitely. Only problem is, they weren't supposed to be in the trunk. It's called illegal search and seizure. Not admissible in the court of law. Oh. Yeah, it's inadmissible. Yeah. They gonna throw, they it, throw it away. Hey, man. This is why men can't ride with me in my car. Not gonna happen. Cause I don't know if you're on parole, probation. I don't know if you got a warrant. I don't know if you want it. Ain't gonna happen. 
This motherfucker, I got license, registration, insurance, is a company. Thousand five arrests. Go pull it up. A bunch of niggas didn't pull it up. Definitely. They definitely pulled it up. And if it was Whack don't get no, I don't even give a nigga. I plead the fifth. You ain't gonna get no nigga. Talk to them white people, man. Talk to that attorney, man. I'm not doing no talking to you, nigga. I'm gonna sit in this cell, do some push ups and sit ups, and make these collect phone calls until you give me a bail. Then I'm out of here. Man. Why the other nigga trying to talk their way in? How do they still writing? That shit crazy. And take it, T Money. They only know about my Texas case because I tell y'all. That's it. Ain't no nigga came in here talking about what nigga I told For guns, you had locked up fucking. Do you pay for guns there? Question. Where's on the YouTube? What? I had about. Three handguns, couple, um, a couple, um, pistol grip shotguns, about three, four saw rifles, 800 rounds, some shit to go to war with. <laughs> God, yeah. Damn. That's yeah. what I had in the trunk. My brother just got killed 18 hours before. I didn't know what I was going into. I wasn't going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> So what? What? It sounds like finesse beefing with himself, but like, why he mad at you? Cause he got exposed. Probably because he mad at me. Probably because of this room. He, he know. Look, I was about to expose him with the work, but then I got the call to do the Kodak Black Six Nine song, and I knew I was gonna have to clear Kodak to Atlantic. So Atlantic told me chill out on that shit, and they gonna clear the Kodak Black song for me. That's what I use to get that clear. So I bagged up on it. I took my bag and let the nigga live. But now he doing what he doing. He did it to himself. Nah, I got the window with no parachute. That's crazy. Little, little Ricky tweaking, man. So you know yeah. now, academic, I'm gonna feed academic all this shit. Let him do it. I'm going to throw a rock. I just ain't going to hide my hand. I'm going to let a nigga know I did it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he definitely going to do it, too, because he definitely asking for it. So the dude, the dude that said Finesse stole his name, that's somebody he used to work? I mean, like, uh, be with or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Them niggas did a robbery together. They from same, the same city. He knew, he knew Finesse daddy and mama and shit. So that's the one he told on. Him and his mom was like, I went to the feds. I ain't never told nobody in the feds. You're right. This was a state case. Robbery y'all did. He got dude got all his work. Damn. He got all he got all the work. He just tried to charge me for the work. T money, I sent it to you. I told the nigga, I don't pay for nigga, I don't pay for no nigga by no work. Either you're gonna expose a nigga or you ain't. Right, so he, right. he hit me about a week ago, like, whack, we're going to go and get it out the way. But this happened, so I, I'm going to send it to academics, let him do his shit. Yeah, academics got a $10,000 bounty on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <Damn. laughs> oh, yeah, he going to get it, too. They going to give it to him. That's a fact. Damn, for Two times. Oh, that. She said ten thousand two times. <laughs> yeah, but listen. I don't know why I you know, I think he did it. Just you know, I'ma diss all the blog sites and I think he was just chasing some clout. Just it just didn't backfire on him. <laughs> not thinking at all, bro. He wasn't thinking. Like, right, come on. Who you trying to go up against and who you didn't just swerve? Like, you didn't say, bro, and now you trying to come at niggas that are already like, shit, nigga, you got marked out already. I know somebody sent that shit to him. 
y'all just listen to he had to have it definitely definitely is this gonna put like a dent in his career or something like to where i mean it's just gonna fuck him up with me see where he from it'll fuck him up there it'll fuck him up in memphis he ain't gonna be able to come through there no more but overall he, i keep telling these niggas don't give a fuck right well see i don't know because i don't think he got a lot of kids his his audience is niggas is like That's 28 right. 30. Yeah, he might he might feel yeah. it he might die out yeah, he, he definitely could. don't have a lot of kid uh, fans. I mean, nah, I mean, he might die out. Them kid fans, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. But Ness might fuck around and niggas might bag up off of him. Mm. Yeah, because it all. <laughs> and if everybody go to question, what was he mad for? Yeah. It's like, bro, you didn't think about this shit. Like, nigga, you need a PR team or something, nigga. Like, <laughs> bro, these niggas start believing their own lies. That's it. That's the why. Yeah, they start believing their own lies, bro. That man, crap, man. I tell a nigga, team money. I only talk the shit I talk because I know my record is spotless. Right. <laughs> ain't no nigga knock me out. I ain't told on no nigga. I ain't been rolled up. Ain't no nigga took nothing from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I knew I had some smut on my record, I wouldn't be loud as I am. Yeah, nah. I don't know what's wrong with these niggas. Nigga, you know you got some shit on you, and you think a nigga ain't going to find it. Man, sit down and be quiet, man. <laughs> I ain't got no extra babies floating around. Man. I don't owe no motherfucker body no child support, nigga. <laughs> your shit yeah, ain't spotless, you. Bro. You can't talk your shit. Motherfuckers yeah, be scared, I'm... scared, scared to go to prison, but not scared of the repercussions uh, from the streets. Uh, you know, these days is different. You know, a lot of them old rules, niggas is dead, doing life in jail, or they strung out somewhere on dope in the street. You know, you still got some teams out there that got to get to it. It ain't as heinous as it used to be. A nigga go over there and kill your mama while you still in custody. Yeah, right. They go over there and kill your brother, shoot your brother up, just to send a message. Like, nigga, it could be your mama or your kids. You know what I'm saying? Back in. Say, because you locked up.